beautiful, Quentin. Oh, you're just beautiful. You're <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Paul here at Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Quentin King is here, and uh, we're going to check out a couple of Martins. Uh, something, you know, we never have enough of, it seems like, is a Martin Cutaway Electronics. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, for some reason, you know, it's not necessarily their forte. They make a wonderful cutaway electronics, but a lot of their stuff is standard series dreadnoughts. Right. Well, and I mean, that. most and folks associate Martins with like bluegrass, big sound, traditional dreadnoughts, stuff, yeah. you know. And so this, a lot of folks who are playing those styles are familiar with those models. They yep. might not appreciate that Martin makes really nice thinner cutaways. body, smaller body totally. with the cutaways for for the virtuosos who are shredding up on these. Exactly. You know. And you got to have a good stage guitar, and you want to play a Martin on stage. You got to have. Something like this. These are the GPC uh, 16 series, and one is in mahogany and one is in rosewood. So these are all solid wood guitars, um, made in the USA. Um, great guitars, nice cutaways, body shape. GP is grand performance. That's just the the, the body shape. Uh, pickups. It's got the great ma uh, Fishman Matrix VT um, little controls inside here. That's really great something. sounding guitar plugged can you in. What can you tell me about the Enhance? The Enhance, gosh, it's been a while, but it, it changed. It's got like this. Um, it enhances. It, well, it does. Yeah, Who doesn't like an enhancer that. on a guitar? No, you know? I mean, I no, but it actually does. I think you can kind of tell that it, it kind of warms it up. You can get that. Um, there's some percussiveness you can get when you add that in. I see. So it adds it a kinda, layer of yeah. Uh, you can kind of hear it and feel sensitivity. It. Gotcha. Don't quote me on that, but I I know. I've I've messed with it. It's been a while, but it's a great pickup. I can tell. So you I haven't played, but I want to say that my first Martin was one of this style. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was, it wasn't this exact model because that was oh, I hate to say it about twenty years ago, but uh, I I I got this style because I thought this is a guitar for all seasons. You know, it's very playable. Mm -hmm. I, I like fingerstyle music, uh, but you yeah. know, I could do my. My fake Stevie Ray Vaughan chords and did you buy it here? I just remember you no, came in. It's no, been I about didn't. twenty years though now. Today, yeah. I remember you coming in the store, playing air and getting your mitts yeah, all over that, everything. Yeah, just being that just guy. Coming in, I being was that, that guy. guy. You played everything all day in there, and they're like, "I got to go back to school." Yeah, yeah I'm going yeah. to school. I'm a school guy. <laughs> twenty years later, yeah, you're I've still going to school. Just got out of school. You just got yeah. out. No, no, I've been out. No, for I remember you. You used to come in all the time. Well, and, I mean, uh, I, yeah, I'm one of those guys. But yeah. uh, but this was this was the Martin that I brought with me uh, from from East from East Coast yeah. when I came out to Bozeman, and of course that's when I I think I've told the story before. I first got exposed to guys that actually played bluegrass, uh -huh. and then I was going to these picking circles with this guitar, something very similar, if yeah. not this exact same model from back in the day, and. Uh, and then you soon it. realized you needed a dreadnought. Yeah, because yeah. it wasn't loud enough. But, you know, blue, not everybody wants to be a bluegrass player right. or a, have a cannon. Right. Uh, they want something that's really playable and diverse. And again, like we say, once you plug these things in, you can that dial it in. Too. That one's mahogany. Yeah, so you got the rosewood versus mahogany. So, great guitars, you know, plugged in, I, you know, I don't even know how much it would matter if you're playing live. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's going to be a difference. It'd be fun yeah. to plug them in and hear the difference, but we'll let Quentin play them here in the end. We'll just do our side-by-side. And side you can hear the difference between the exact same guitar, mahogany and rosewood, mm -hmm. and you can kind of decide. But uh, great feel, great great shapes. Yeah, they're um, thin, uh, just really, really playable. I would dare I would dare say that this is Martin's answer to Taylor playability, right? Because mm -hmm. they're, they're thinner bodies. They, they adapt very well, very comfortable. Uh, set up files. Are, yeah, yeah. And, and the action's really kind of pliable. It's easy to play these guitars. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, Quentin. These are the Martin GPC 16 in a rosewood and a mahogany. And uh, we'll get going on these and we'll see you all soon.